encoding overload. Alright. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Uh, right. You. <clears throat> oh, finally, you're back. Are you alright? It wasn't too much trouble getting the abdomens, was it? No, don't worry, Olena. We're used to trouble. But you look a little beaten up. Just a few scratches. We're fine. Nothing serious. Then, come, come. We can tend to your wounds. No, no. Please, you don't have to. We have our own healer, so we can take care of ourselves. Oh, okay. As you say, milady. Here they are. I hope these are what you, you need. They, they are indeed. You've been a big help. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> a promise is a promise. We're glad to help. Um, <clears throat> I better get the lanterns ready. Please excuse me, and see you later, Kale. Oh, Anna, <clears throat> wait. Please, let me help you with the lanterns. Oh, you don't have to worry. I think you should get some rest. I, uh, I don't want to trouble you anymore. But I insist. Let me help you. Well, if you insist, I mean, thank you, Kale. <clears throat> they truly are enamored f of one another. I haven't seen that spark in his eyes since Phineas. If Olena can make him happy, I hope he stays that way. <clears throat> uh huh. Who would have guessed that deep down you were a sentimental girl? What? No. I just said that I'm happy to see him happy. You should find someone who makes you feel that way too, dearest. Over there. Over here. We have to set up some lanterns here. Okay, come on. Set them up right here. You guys are floating. Come on, we better have the... Those men set up the lanterns, instead of listening to this one, one's mad ramblings. Hey, I'm not finished talking to you just yet. You can talk all you want while we set up the lanterns. Come on, everyone. <clears throat> they are very beautiful. I've never seen such things before. Finally, we can see them up close. And I'm glad that I'm seeing them with you, Finn. So am I, Aris. I hope we'll find more beautiful things to witness together on our journeys. Yes, Finn. It's a relief to know that the feud hasn't destroyed all the beauty in the realm. We'll only find bad things if that's what we seek, but if we look, we can discover beautiful things, such as these. You're right, Finn, and thank you. Thank you so much for helping me out of Shippur in the first place. Shippur was the not the right place for you, Eris. You belong out here. Hey, what are you talking to you talking about? No, no, it's nothing. Really. We were just talking about the lanterns. You're a terrible liar, Finn. Don't you know it's rude to talk privately when there are other people around? <coughs> I didn't mean to be rude, Miss Arya. I'm sorry, we were just talking about the lanterns, nothing more. It'd be better if you shared your feet, your thoughts with all of us, Eris, not only Finn. We'll listen to you. Okay, Miss Arya. I understand. I'm sorry. Ah, calm down, dear. You need to relax and enjoy the view. What's the point of attending a festival if not everyone is enjoying it? We'll be waiting for you in the center of Belfast. Let's have some fun. You'd better not be late, Kale. We'll be continuing our journey soon, as we obtain passage on a ship. Yeah, yeah, understand, lady. But the ships haven't even arrived yet. 
You better be at the end tomorrow morning, Kale. I really hope he doesn't show up late tomorrow. Don't get your hopes up, Miss Arya. I think Kale is in for a long night. Huh. That's what I'm afraid of. People in love find it difficult to fall asleep. For... For they have at least discovered a reality more glorious than the most beautiful dream. And tonight those two lovebirds will have eyes for only each other, dancing the night away. Oh, the music started. Care to dance, Mr. Lion? Dance with you, milady? Of course, you're not opposed. No, no. I'd love to, but I'm not sure I know how to dance. Oh, come on, I'll show you. Just watch and learn. Lead the way, milady. Hey, don't get too carried away. We need you at your best tomorrow morning. Don't worry, darling. <clears throat> hmm, everyone seems to be having a good time, huh? So, what are you gonna do now, Miss Arya? What business is it, is it of yours, Finn? What? Why is she so angry at me? It's as if she hates me. Did I do something wrong? It's okay, Finn. You didn't do anything wrong. Why does she always seem angry with me? I think you should talk to her, Finn. Go after her. <clears throat> but what about you, Eris? I can't leave you alone. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm quite happy here. <clears throat> what are you going to do by yourself? Well, I'm going to try some food, watch the dancing, enjoy the music, and probably go back to the inn after that. Are you sure, Eris? Yes, don't worry, Finn. There's so many things for me to do. It's completely peaceful here. Okay, then. Good. So, see you at the end, then. Alright, I'll see you later, Eris. Missaria. Finn? <clears throat> Why are you here? What's wrong? Uh, I don't really know why I'm here. I just think I need to talk to you. And I want to apologize if... If I did something to hurt you, miss. Uh, it's okay, Finn. You didn't do anything wrong. You don't have to be sorry at all. I've been by your side for months now. I should understand you better by now. I should know better if something angers you. Please, Finn. I don't want you to keep thinking of yourself as an errand boy. But wasn't that why you brought me along on this journey in the first place? Finn, that's <clears throat> all in the past now. We've all grown past it by now. But I still have a duty to serve you, miss. No, you... <clears throat> you no longer serve me, Finn. You're one of the Fate Band. You serve Legrand. We're equals. No more, no less. Maybe you're right, miss. But you were the one who made me part of the Fate Band. No, Finn. It was Fate that made you one of us. It's Lyra's will. I think I'm the one who should apologize to you, Finn. I'm really sorry. No, miss. It's completely fine. Really. There's nothing to forgive, miss. I know that you don't really mean the things you say. You... You're a very kind person, Finn. I should have treated you better. I'm just telling you what I think of you, Finn. If... If there's any way I can change the terrible impression I've made on you, please tell me. Change? Oh, why? I don't think you need to change anything, Miss. Really? Then would you would you tell me? Uh, tell you what? Please, tell me what you think of me, Finn. Well, I suppose I think you can be a little grumpy, Miss Arya. I know you have a he heavy burden on your shoulders, so I can understand if you're intense all the time. And. Finn, please, go on. And I know that deep inside, you're a kind person. I think you're the most determined and tenacious person I've ever known, Miss Arya. You have my utmost respect, because you are the flame who will end all wars. No, I meant... Besides, our duty and our journey, what do you think of me apart from all that? Uh, you're my savior after all. 
You helped me and gave me a purpose. I... I could never thank you enough for that, miss. You... You helped me to redeem myself. To find the missing place to make me into the man I need to be, miss. I... I did that, Finn? Yes, Miss Arya. So... What do you... What do you think of Eris? Finn? Huh? Miss Arya. Why do you want to talk about Eris all of a sudden? Well, you two seem so close. Are you two... You know... No. No, Miss Arya. We were just fellow fate bed, nothing more. You helped me make me in you helped me helped make me into a reliable guard. To finally find Eris, you know that I'm also responsible for her. What? So what's that actually what you actually meant? Miss, you helped me redeem myself to make up for my failure to protect Eris's father. But because of you, now I have another chance to fulfill my responsibility. To ensure that Eris reaches her destination safely. Is that all? Is that all you're going to say about me, Finn? Yes, I think that's all, miss. I don't think I have anything else to say right now. Thank you for letting me speak my mind freely. I think I need it. <laughs> you don't understand anything, do you? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Arya. Did I say something wrong? No, I just thought you might have something else to say to me. I don't understand what you're talking about, but I'm afraid that's all I have to say about you right now. I'm not just some fig figure of prophecy, you know. I'm more than the flame. I'm... I'm... I'm a girl too, you know. But, Miss Arya, wait. Don't. Please. Don't follow me. Just leave. Just get back to the inn after you're finished with all this. I knew the problem was with me. Seems like I just can't say anything right now. Anything right. Go to the inn. No one has anything new to say. Where is the inn? really annoying. Oh, there's the end. Did you have a good night, Lady Scathia? Oh my, yes. Armin's are fast learners, it seems. Mr. Azam has already mastered some dances. He's improved immensely already. Ah, and I will continue pr to perfect my dancing skills, my lady. I assure you, next time you ask me to dance, I hope you will not be disappointed. You are surprisingly good for a first-timer. Well, that means a great deal coming from you, my lady. Splendid. It seems like you two had a great good time. So, we can get on with things now, can't we? Mm-hmm. And, uh, how was your night, darling? Made any progress? The only progress that interests me is the progress of our mission. Oh, hush. You know very well what I mean. No, I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, better as ever. I'll take that as a no, then. I don't care. Just stop distracting me from the mission. Alright, alright. Have it your way. We're all here except for that lubstruck imbecile Kale. I told him to be ready in the morning. Where in, the, in Lear's name is he? Perhaps he slept somewhere, dearest. Last night was the perfect chance for Kale to express his uh, affections for Elena. 
This will not stand. We can't afford to wait any longer. We'll have to find him on our way to the docks. <clears throat> My lady, what if he returns here? Just leave word with the innkeeper. Tell him that Kale can find us at the docks. Are you sure? Absolutely. Please inform the innkeeper, Mr. Asm. Well, do you miss? We're going now? Yes. <clears throat> yes, right now. Miss Arya is leaving already? Nah, uh, she surely is in a foul mood. Seems like she had a rough night. Any of you know what happened to her last night? Do you know something about this Finn? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Maybe she's just tired of waiting. Hmm, I think you're right. Perhaps she's just tired of waiting for someone. Isn't that right, Finn? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Do yourself a favor and try figuring it out yourself, Sonny. You don't want people to think that petty head of yours is full of nothing but fluff. Come on, guys. We better not keep her waiting. Please, Miss Kathia, I really don't want to get in the middle of this. Just start moving. Perhaps it'll get your blood moving and into your brain. Finn! Yes, sirs? What is it? It didn't go well, did it? Your conversation with Miss Aria. What did you do? I'm not really good with words, Eris. Would you mind telling me what you said to Miss Aria, Finn? I told her that I really admire her as a leader and that she has all my respect for being the prophesized flame. I swear, I didn't say anything disrespectful. But she got angry at me anyway. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with the way I talked to her. Maybe it's not respect she wanted from me, Finn. <clears throat> Why? Why shouldn't I respect her? It's not that you shouldn't, but maybe she was expecting something else from you. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. She said something like that, but I didn't know what she meant. What else was she expecting from me? That's the part I can't help you with. You'll have to figure it out yourself, Finn. But I don't have a clue what I'm supposed to figure out. I'm more confused than ever now, Harris. I'm sorry, Finn. I didn't mean to complicate things. If there's something else, maybe you can tell Miss Arya another time. But what if I don't have anything else? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just wondering what you actually feel right now. Okay, I'm just shooting in the dark here. Um, no, actually. Don't worry about it, Finn. Come on. We mustn't keep Miss Arya waiting. We have to find Mr. Kale. Have girls always been this complicated? Ah, uh, the festival is over. I'm still gazing at all this beauty all alone. Ah, uh, these stairs. Some of these people just blend into the background. Uh, ducks. <clears throat> so, did this guy get rich? Can't wait for next year's festivals. I didn't manage to ask her to dance with me. I dance for my friend instead. Feels bad. The festival was a success. I'm glad I could help. The festival is over, but that doesn't mean you can't stay here for a bit longer, folks. I don't want to go home. I still want to have some of the local food. Kale. <clears throat> Captain Jamal, is that you? 
Oh my lady, you're really here. What are you doing in Belfast, Captain? I'm here for the Lilac Festival. Lilac? I, I, I forget. I don't know. Naturally, milady. Sailors such as myself are always drawn to it. Oh yes, the festival. What good fortune is it to finally meet you again? I was waiting for you, actually. Waiting for us, Captain? Why? And how? I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw Kale lying in the street there, but there's no mistaking him. I knew that meant that all of you would be here. I'm so glad to meet you again. Likewise, Captain. So, that's Kale over there. You better see him for yourself, my lady. Oh, Lear, it really is him. Kale, what in the <coughs> name of Lear happened to you? Oh. Oh, Anna. Oh, Anna. <coughs> Don't worry. I I'll be back soon. <coughs> I'm not Oella. O Owena, Kale. What happened? Answer me. Um, not Oella. Here's my Oella. <clears throat> I'm not fucking hecking. I'm not in the mood right now. <clears throat> Don't think my troll can even do it. <laughs> Don't worry, milady. He's completely fine. Though he is incredibly drunk. Drunk? Aye. Drunk on ale or love. It's hard to say. Though the way he's been calling out the name, you tell me. Huh. <laughs> Most possibly both, Captain. He surely knows how to enjoy a festival. But the Cretan didn't know how to find his way home. I hope him... <clears throat> I told him to be ready by morning. Ready for what, Lady Arya? We're about to continue our journey. Since you're here, Captain, would you mind? I know what you're about to ask, milady. Huh? Who would have guessed that Kale would find us a ship by lying on the ground like a drunken lout? Before I take you to our destination, wherever it may be, I think you better tell me who you really are. You already know who we are, Captain. Well, not completely. Not all of you, at least. You've gained new companions since we last met. <coughs> oh, forgive me. This is Azam, Captain. It's an honor to meet you, Sir Jamal. Jamal. Just call me Jamal, Azam. <clears throat> and this is Lady Scathia. Hello, sir. There. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can't get rid of this shit. Nice to meet you, milady. <clears throat> oh my. You really are full of surprises. I helped you get to Ostia, and now you're st you started a revolution there. It seems you also took the champion with you. I was the champion, but no longer, sir. It was an accident, Captain. Very intriguing accident, milady. When the rioting started, I decided to flee the city. I was hoping that you would survive fighting Callahan's troops. And you did. As for where you went next, did you really manage to escape the doomed domain too? If you meet Phineas, well, our presence here is proof of that, Captain. Unbelievable! You're still in one piece, even after venturing through Phineas, a place where death is abound. We're here, and we're very much alive, Captain. For dead men, tell no tales, right? Yes, indeed. Instead, I found you rolling around drunk at a festival. This is sure to be the strangest tale I've ever t I'll ever tell of my life as a sailor. Don't get him started, Captain. Can't stand him telling stories when he's sober. I don't want to hear his bragging when he's drunk. I'll leave him be, milady. It's always good to share stories and experiences. So is there anything else you need to tell me? Such as the true nature and purpose of your journey. Is that really necessary, Captain? Can't I just give you the destination? It is essential. I need to know what I'm sailing into. I'm sure you want me to take you to another unusual place. Alright. But I don't think you'll believe me, Captain. You survived, Phineas. After that, I'll believe whatever you have to say. Uh, very well. We are wholly dependent on your cooperation, after all. You may not be caught up on your reading into prophecies, but I'm sure you've heard of the fake band, Captain. The what? Oh my. Yes, Captain. 
were the fate bound. I did warn you that it would be hard to believe. No, no, I wasn't expecting. The title of the fate bound might be heavy to bear. But you all are more than worthy for what I've seen your deeds with my own eyes. You know of the prophecy? The fate bound who will end all feuds? Of course. Oh, my oh my. I should have known. It seems clear as day now. So you still wish to help us? It would be an honor to serve you all. Trouble follows, follows us everywhere, Captain. We won't blame you for turning us down. Why would I? You helped regain my senses, completed my purpose in life. It's now my turn to repay my debts. So you mean? Yes, perhaps Lyra has given me another purpose, a noble one at that. But I'm afraid I don't have enough dinner on my person. Captain, I will get more tomorrow. Please stop talking about dinner, milady, before you wound my pride. But don't you require funds for the ship's upkeep, Captain? My prancing lion has never been a Danar pit, milady. Don't concern yourself with it. We can easily come by Danar elsewhere if we need it. Besides, I know my ship has been longing for a greater purpose. Let's not dispose of her. Thank you. Thank you so much, Captain. So, where are you heading now? To Sessai, Captain. To Dorai. We shall go forth. Wonderful, but any idea how to deal with this drunken, drunken sot here? Oh yes, indeed. My men and I will take care of him. I wouldn't expect him back on his feet anytime soon. I apologize on Kale's behalf, Captain. Not at all, my lady. Taking care of drunkards is routine for a sailor. Sailor. <clears throat> Someone just messaged me. I'll be around when you're ready to sail. <clears throat> you seem to tr trust this Jamal a great deal, darling. Of course I do. He's one of the reasons I was able to continue the journey and find you and Jam Azam. So he's trustworthy then. His loyalty is beyond question. Farewell, if you say so. Come on, look alive everyone, to Sessai. I'm glad I didn't teach him to dance. If I did, we wouldn't be together at the festival. <laughs> oh. Okay. They want different people. <clears throat> Guess I'll make a save. Did I? Oh, I lost Kale. Okay. <clears throat> Continue. I think I'll do one battle at the arena. Maybe stop then.
Hmm. Doesn't matter if I save or not here. I already saved the theater place. Six rounds. I don't have Kale. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna lose that on experience. Oh well. Move to Lightning and Slash. Um, I guess I'll just swap to Azam. That's a column. Why do I have that on? I can do better than that. I need to swap our skills around. Never spoken to me before, I know you're asking me something. For a name change. Fuck. Piss off. I'm not even on line. Wait, I am on line. Fuck! Wait, these are weak to lightning. Why did I swap? Ah. Whatever. We didn't kill it. I don't think we even dealt that much damage. Act as him. Uh, do that. You can guard, I guess. Meditation. Three hundred damage, that's kinda weak. Can you just light spirit them or something? Yeah, might do damage. I don't know. Do something. These things are fucking immune to everything. Five hundred? Half his health. Uh, I looked away. I didn't see your damage, but I killed it. Kale is going to be slightly behind on experience, but it doesn't really matter. These things, roll with slash, change to... They have fucking wing animation sound effects, flapping sound effects. What? Why? Pretty sure nothing else had. Sound effects before my round. Ah, oh, didn't I? So close. Ow, that hurts. 
Fuck it, let's just end the brand. Now you got it perfect. Rick to impact and dark. So we to fire and arc. Let's do that. We need to pierce and you start killing everyone. Should be dead. Or not. If I can just hit him. Put meditation on. Wait, what? It fucking healed. That thing in the back heals. Alright, we killed it. Just hit it. Okay, um, whatever. Just pump strength. I'll get something eventually, I think. Two new enemies. There's so many new enemies I come across. Pierce, everything's weak to Pierce. So change. So resistant to water. Move, back row, attack. Plantation. Sound effect didn't play. I like I wanted it to play because it's fucking loud. Oh, for tanky. Okay, that one died. Uh, you hit this guy. Might as well. Deal damage. Okay. Okay. That works. <coughs> round five. Probably just use our count on round six. Burn through all of it. Alright, impact earth fire. Nope. Nope. Change. Uh, move to front row. <coughs> Just hit. Meditation. Oh, that hurts. Okay, he's dead. He's dead too. Alright. Time to guard. While I heal every- heal Finn. Is he really just gonna do this? Fucking got one. 
shattered. I forgot what you were pumping. Wind blast, I guess. Strong. So let's do this. Might as well. Oh, wind cutter. Whoops. Oh well, whatever. Oh, perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was not expecting one to just kill him. I was expecting Scathia's one to go off to. <clears throat> well, that one was easy. Easier than last time. Let's get my free heal in this town. Oh. Have to stop anyways now. <coughs> Should really read this after I don't I stop. <coughs> eh. Did I have to pay? Or was that just an option to, to stay? <laughs> oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I have enough down our for now. Let me just... Yeah, okay. It was just an option. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just save here. It doesn't really matter. 